All right, here. Well, uh, it's time's getting away from me. It's almost ten past nine. Um, it's been a fairly slow morning. I was just working on some other stuff, working on the charts. So uh, you guys know we've got our uh, warrior charts that we've been working on getting dialed in. So this has been uh, a nice project for us. And you could see uh, this is what they look like right here. So I was just taking some notes of a couple of things that I noticed um, need to improve. Let's see where that window go. Uh, you know, which is a good a good thing to keep me occupied during kind of a slow morning of trading. Because the thing is, I, I want to be here and present if something starts to squeeze and something starts to move, but I don't want to trade out of boredom. So if there's nothing moving, if nothing looks good, then it does make more sense for me to just, you know, whatever, check email. Some people go shopping online. Some people just browse on social media. So I keep my, I keep myself occupied with this stuff uh, on the warrior side with the charts and the scanners and the different projects I have going on over here, which is good. Uh, you know, it's productive. I, I like doing it. So that's fine. Um, anyway, so we had that big move on uh, yesterday uh, on ICCM. So the thing on ICCM, um, I don't really have FOMO on this because I wouldn't have traded it at 4 p.m. I don't trade after hours. I don't trade at that time of the day. But it ends up going from 90 cents all the way up to like $11, which is crazy. Uh, pulls back, closes after hours at like whatever it was, five. And then pre-market, it just sells off hard. So I do think that there could be a long on this if it breaks over a certain level. Um, let's see. Sorry. So, um, yeah, so I, I think that there could be a possibility if this breaks over like 320-ish, something like that, but I'm not sure about that right now. By the way, for those tuning in on YouTube, reminders always, trading is risky. My results aren't typical, and there's no guarantee you'll find success with you trade with me or you learn on your own. So practice this simulator before you put real money on the line, and don't try to follow blindly follow me or anyone else because trading is risky. All right, uh, so 19 minutes to the opening bell. We've got, um, nice, Tony, good job. Hey, you know, it, it pays to stick around sometimes. Uh, it certainly got a nice move on it. So if you capitalized on it because you were here, that's fantastic. Uh, I just personally don't have FOMO for missing it because I wouldn't have, uh, under really any circumstance, been able to trade that time of day. It's just not when I trade. NLSP has some news, but uh, leaving that one alone. BXRX double top right now off of about uh, 280, 290. So we've got a double top up there. I don't know if that goes any farther. I could keep it on watch. SINT uh, reverse split. So already got uh, a couple trades on this one as it started to pull away, hit a high of 1047 is at least what it's showing. This was a 100 to one reverse split, which is a big reverse split. So the float is one one hundredth of what it was yesterday. Uh, so that's worth noting, but whether or not it goes higher, I'm not sure. So that'll be a side chart for now since it's pulled back a little bit, has a topping tail in the five minute. AUVI, a little lower price, not that exciting right now. It's on watch as a maybe. SLNO, yep, see that one. No real interest on that. Uh, 
so by the way, we have started our uh, Christmas and New Year's sales. Coupon code TRADE2023 will save you 40% on your one-time membership fee. So you're welcome to check out warriortrading.com slash trading dash courses, or just come to the website where you're trading, go down to products and then uh, trading courses for all level. So you can compare the membership tiers, the Warrior Starter, Warrior Plus, and Warrior Pro. Think of these sort of as a library card that give you access to classes. The Starter gives you access to one class, which is Day Trading the Basics. Plus gives you access to five classes. And Pro gives you access to all of the classes, including classes taught by Warrior Pro graduates. Those are down here at the bottom. So uh, we've got Chris's class on short selling that's out, Jess's class on high volatility momentum trading, that one's out. We've got a class uh, by Danny that's out, a class by Hamon coming soon, a class by Max coming soon. All right, so uh, make sure you check those out. Uh, and for those that tune in on YouTube, you may recall last year, uh, starting January 5th or 6th, and we're going to do the same thing this year. Starting January 6th, we'll be doing um, Trader Rehab. So we're I expect that we'll have uh, a great turnout of uh, new members that will join, both for the Trader Rehab session that's going to take place. Uh, so uh, Warrior Pro members would have access to that. Uh, but also, uh, because we'll have so many uh, new members joining using this uh, Trade 2023 coupon code, I want to make sure that uh, for the month of January next year that I'm focusing on all of our new students who are uh, members, new members of the community. So that means I won't be running the morning show in January on YouTube. All right, so that's the same as last year, taking the month of January off and just doing content for Warrior members. So for those on YouTube, this is the, um, you know, we've got, well, this week and uh, and next week that we'll run the morning show. And then it'll end uh, for the month of January, all right? And during that time, we'll focus on, I'll be focused on um, content for members only. Trader Rehab, that's this class right here, which you guys can check out. Uh, it is, you could, so you could rewatch last year's Trader Rehab course in advance of Trader Rehab starting on January 6th. So you're welcome to do that. Uh, we will be running a slightly different version of Trader Rehab this year, and they always are a little bit different. So you know that's just the way it goes. Um, but uh, yeah, if you signed up and purchased this, it would not give you access to the live Trader Rehab course. The live Trader Rehab course that's going to be taught live will be uh, available just for pro members. Nice, good trades, well done. Okay, so this morning I've got $1,200 in profit so far on BCRX and SINT, ICCM. Not interested in that one right now. So there's my PL. If I take any trades uh, during the morning show, you'll be able to see my PL in the top corner. So you'll see my cost basis. And as um, I add, the cost basis changes, take profit, etc. cetera. Uh, but for the time being, I don't see anything that I'm looking to trade. Mm, very interesting. That is interesting. Thank you for sharing that.
All right, 10 minutes to the opening bell. So game plan today will be just to watch relative volume and see what stock becomes obvious. Obviously, we have had some momentum this morning, uh, which is good, but I'm not sure if we're going to see something really rise up and become obvious. So that'll be uh, to be determined. changing my settings here. Okay. So a question there on day trade dash uh, day trade dash members have access to scanners they will have access to charts uh, when those are released and they have their own chat room but it's separate from the chat room where warrior pro students uh, are chatting so it's a day trade dash chat only All right, well, let's see. Kind of a slow morning. I see ICCM coming back up a little bit. So, good day to get some other things done, I suppose. I'll keep busy working on the charts and I've got a, a class that I'm going to start working on for next year. So I've got some things that I uh, can keep myself preoccupied with so I don't get into over trading. Nope, no stop orders after the market. No stop orders pre-market, no stop orders after hours. 
I, in some ways, I, you know, in some ways, I wish that you could set at least some type of stop order uh, during these uh, pre-market after hour times, just because in some, at least today, there's a lot more liquidity pre-market and after hours than there used to be. Maybe it's a, maybe it'd be a different type of stop order. It's not a stop day order, but it's a stop, you know, outside after hours order. But, but it would be helpful because sometimes I like to take a trade and set a stop at break even during regular trading hours so I can just, you know, get up for a second or whatever and just know I have some risks management. So to not have anything pre-market is a little unfortunate, but it's just the way it is. Hey, Chris, good morning. All right, well, we've got three and a half minutes to the opening bell. So at this point, I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to sit tight and hope that something maybe starts to open up a little bit. Hey, Justin, good morning. Hey, Timmy. Do you guys have anything on watch that I missed? ICCM, SINT, yep. Okay. All right. Okay, sounds good. All right, well, thanks uh, for those who have tuned in on YouTube. Slow morning, but uh, we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. I hope you guys have a great day. Manage your risk. Reminder, as always, trading is, in fact, risky, so take it slow, and don't trade money you can't afford to lose. We'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. All right, see you guys then.